Hi there and welcome back. It's Lisa from Curtis and Ink Designs in Ontario, Canada. Um, today I decided to finally pick up my paper pumpkin from February, I guess, last month. But um, as per our monthly get together, oh, let me switch down to my desk here. As per our monthly get together, Doreen is here. And we're getting things ready. Well, she's much more organized than I am. She's getting things ready for Easter. <laughs> I'm just watching. <laughs> I've been busy getting my swaps ready for uh, on stage in Houston, which I leave on Tuesday for that. So I'm excited about that. So here's our paper pumpkin. I am getting a bit of glare, but sorry about that. So let's do the big opening. Ta -da! <laughs> oh, yeah. So... Early Espresso is my ink spot this month. And, oh, look at how cute. So there's a bunny and some, um, what do you call these things? Daffodils. And this also coordinates with the daffodil dyes that were the add-on for the first three months of the year. And actually, tomorrow, there's a new set of dyes coming out for um, April, May, June uh, paper pumpkins. And there's a little chick. And a welcome baby, springtime greetings, and happy Easter. So this isn't necessarily just Easter. But that's that's a cute bunny, eh? It is. That's a really cute bunny. What have you got on your head? <laughs> Doreen is sitting there with um, Valentine ear bobble things. <laughs> these. She's got these on. <laughs> hey, banana. <laughs> I was wondering when you were going to notice. <laughs> <laughs> I've been for like five minutes. Oh, have you? That's funny. All right, so let's get rid of our box. We don't really need that anymore. But by the way, isn't that the cutest box? So let's open this baby up and see what we have. All righty. Oh, there's a little foldy uppy thing here that you can put your dies in oh, if you choose. New. This is new. This is the second or third month that they've done this. I would say maybe third month. But I store mine like this. If you go on to paperpumpkin.com, uh, you can download this. It's actually designed to go into like a stamp case like this. Oops. Like this. But I don't have the room really to store them like that. So I keep them in these Avery L uh, envelopes, which are listed in the description below. I just get them on Amazon and I, I love them. That's the way I do mine too. Yeah. And I just, so I just keep my stamps in here and I keep them in one of those plastic shoe boxes that you can also get on Amazon or Walmart or wherever. And, um, but I found this is a very inexpensive way to store them and it doesn't take up a lot of room and I just store them by month with the most recent ones closer. But I like that you can just flip it over and there's your designs, you know, you don't have to think, uh, you know, what the heck is in there because they're there. So let's see. So this kit does six cards and three boxes. So uh, let's see what we need. So, oh, let's see what's in here first of all. I'm discombobulated. So here's our boxes. They're kind of cute. Mm -hmm. So there's three of those, it says. That's a weird number, three. I don't know why they didn't do four, but anyway. And then there is a wreath and daffodil pop-outs. Ooh, look, the envelopes are cute. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Oh. So petal pink and uh, I wonder what green that is. I'm going to say granny apple. I'm going to say granny apple too. Let's see if we're right. It is. Well, garden green and granny apple. So there's the garden green and there's the granny apple probably. So um, yeah, that's cute. <clears throat> and the envelopes are two different sizes. Look at that. Oh. One is like, um. what do you call that when they're long and skinny? Slimline? Slimline, and one is like a regular A2 or whatever. Yeah, so this is the front of the card. 
And then you know for sure that I'm going to use this as the front of a card. And then we have, so there's how many of those are there? Uh, one, two, three. And then we have the three, I guess these are the card fronts for the slim line. So you could actually cut these in half and get two cards out of that. That's very cute. And then we have our pop-outs. So there's this little chick thing, some bunnies and some banners and some daffodils. And there are three sheets of that. Very cute. And then you also have um, tear and tape and some linen um, thread as well as dimensionals and little white uh, epoxy dots. Very cute. Okay, so let's dig out what we need for card number one. Well, let's do the box first. So for the box, <clears throat> we need a box. You want to do one while I do that? Sure. <clears throat> let's get that stuff out of your way. You're going to need a bunny. So I have a card base and a bunny. Roxy's chasing something. I don't know what she's chasing. Bunny for you. That's it. And, okay. So, tear and tape. Thank you. Let me grab my tear and tape over here. All right. So, um, it says, open it up like this. Whoopsie. And it just says to put tear and tape. Oh, on this one and then flip it over and put it on the long one on the opposite side. So, so on the second one in on the printed side, so over here. And then I'm going to flip it over and put it on this one. On the opposite side, on the white side. Take a look outside. Oh my god, it's snowing out. My husband just said, Look outside, and I did, and it's snowing. Uh, it is only March 10th. I know, but still. Where'd you see that? Oh, yeah, I missed that part. Good eye, Adrian. So I lost the end again. Here we are. So then also, we're going to put some tear and tape and I'm going to put it right next to the score line right there oh it makes a milk carton yeah oh that's so cute okay so here we're gonna fold there's some score lines here and here and there's little arrows in here so you want to fold those score lines in There like that. And then I'm just going to burnish all of my score lines. These little boxes are sweet. So now that we have all of our edges folded and burnished, let's put this baby together. Did you? No. There. I forgot to burnish these. I, I pre fold some of that. I didn't even do that. So. But I didn't do the, the so we'll burnish these. And then these are going to go this way. go here's some twine there so let's do this again I'm gonna fold this back the way it goes there and then this this is gonna go in like this 
and it's going to be like a little milk carton. That's so cute. It is. All right, so let's pull off our... Um, I don't know what you call this covering. Release paper. Release paper. And then just square up my box and line up all my... Super cute. Whew. And then there's our little box. So I'm just going to poke out my little holes here. When I do mine out of cardstock, I need to make it taller. Are you a little bit taller? Yeah. So you're going to get gift cards in there, too. Now, mind you, they might stand I think up. I have a gift card, I think, in here. Okay, so this is going to go like this. Oh, no. No, it's got to be taller. Yeah, a little bit taller. So Jarena's going to actually design one that's a little bit taller to accommodate a gift card. So that will be good. And then... Um, so I'm just going to... All the holes line up, so I'm just going to put my thread through here and through here. Maybe. In you go. There we go. That is so cute. All right, and then you can just tie it once you fill it with whatever you're going to fill it up with. Tie a knot and a bow. Oh, I think it stopped sewing. That was just a little flurry. <laughs> a little flurry there, yeah. There. So there's our little bow. And then we have our bun bun. And the bunny and the chick just get put on the front like this with dimensionals. Which are here. I just have a package of the minis right handy here, so let's just use those. These minis are really mini. Mm -hmm. There. Cute. I would put more on this, I think. Yeah. Like, it seems kind of like... Depends on what you use on the other cards. You could put other stuff on. Yeah, but we have those dies. Let me grab them. And there's our bunny. Yeah, do something on the whole side. So there's, um, in the dies, there's a little daffodil. So you could definitely cut out, like, a little daffodil and some greenery and then make a... A tag with um, a little sentiment on it or whatever. And, uh, yeah, you could certainly dress it up. <laughs> this dimensional sticking to me and it won't go away. <laughs> there. So, um, yeah, we could definitely jazz this up with some cutouts of daffodils. Alrighty. I'm going to leave your presence to design my box. Okay, so Doreen's going to leave us. She's going to go and design a box that will fit a gift card. And here are those dies if you want to use them. Okay, thank you. I and might come back and steal the, the bunny stamps later. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Get the box made first. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. All right, so isn't that cute, though? So we'll see what Doreen comes up with, because we know that she's a paper genius, so... Um, when she comes back with her other dimensions, then we'll add that to the video as well. So let me just get rid of all my extraneous stuff. All right, so let's proceed with the cards. So as you know, I keep my little um, ink spots for gifts and things. So I'm going to grab the early espresso. And so there's my early espresso. So for this card, we need... A, what do we need? We need a card base. 
and one of these banners. And a frame with some greenery. So this comes out like this and you end up with a little frame. And this is going to go on here. I missed a couple of little cutouts here. Well, that's cute. So they're using the glue dots that come with the kit. But uh, I like my liquid glue. So I'm just going to center that in here. Come so. There. Oh, that's so cute. And then we're going to take some of these daffodils and we're going to pop them onto dimensionals. Okay, that is so cute. So yeah, we're headed to Houston this week for um, the Stampin' Up! convention and um, I'm really looking forward to it. So at this convention we get to preview what's coming up in the new annual catalog and we'll get a sneak preview of the new in colors that are coming out uh, also when the new catalog launches. And so there's five in colors that are retiring, and they are Tahitian Tide, Parakeet Party, Sweet Sorbet, Starry Sky, and Orchid Oasis. So they're all retiring, and um, then five new colors will be coming out to replace them. So the in colors retire every second year we get a new set so kind of fun there now they've got daffodils along the bottom not sure how I feel about that I might put one down there that's cute I think I'll just put one down there I think that's cute all right so let's find our stamps in this little pile of stuff here we are and they used Happy Easter. So let's grab Happy Easter. And a block. So in your first paper pumpkin, when you subscribe, you will receive a block like this. And it'll say, paper pumpkin on it and then you this will be your block now I prefer the ergonomic blocks just because my nails are a little bit longer and I hit the table all the time but um, these blocks work perfectly fine and when you buy the all-inclusive kits that you've seen me demonstrate um, each kit that is a stamping kit will come with a, um, a block of its own so you can you can collect quite a little handful of, of blocks just by buying kits there so that's stamping pretty nicely so let's go ahead and stamp our uh, and our um, label here so happy Easter and then we'll pop that up on some dimensionals
there. Very, very cute. Now, if you had Wink of Stella, you could definitely put some Wink of Stella on your um, on your bunny or your daffodils, like whatever whatever makes you happy. I do love Wink of Stella. I put it on almost every card I do, but um, you know, totally up to you. And then we have as well our little gems. Grab my take your pick tool here. I'm really excited to see the new in colors there. So I'm just going to put three. They have five on there, but I'm going to put three because I want them to go a little bit further. There. So there's our first card. Super cute. And I should have folded this and burnished it before, but I didn't. So there's card number one, super cute. And for card number two, let's see, we're going to need one of these banners and this chick, this little chick, and one of these card bases and a wreath. So let's find our wreath. Here's another daffodil. We could have put this on the first card, but I want to save them and use them up because I'm going to be doing some alternatives. So here's our wreath. And that's going to go around our chicks like that. Oh, really cute. Okay. So let's do our stamping first. What stamp do we need? Springtime greetings. Springtime greetings. Okay, so let's ink that up and give it a stamp and see how it stamps. Beautiful. I love it. Okay, springtime greetings. Beautiful. And we're going to put, let me just close this so I don't stick something in it. So we're going to put dimensionals on everything. Everything, everything. So let me grab my sheet of dimensionals here. So we're going to pop up this panel. And we're going to pop that onto the front of our card. Oh, this is so cute. So I'm trying to center it. I want it as centered as possible. And then we're also going to put dimensionals on, oh no, we're just going to glue our wreath. They're, they're just using glue dots, so we'll just use a little bit of glue. And um, so this is going to go like this. That's cute. And then we're going to pop some dimensionals on the back of our greeting. There, just like that. There, super cute. And so quick and so easy. And I'm just going to winkify my flowers a little bit here. There, you can see. I don't know if you can see. I don't know, can you see the shimmer? I can. Anyway, <laughs> it's really pretty. Super cute. This is a new pen, so I kind of have to prime it a little bit, I think. 
There we go. So I'm just going to put some more wink on the flowers. Yeah, I, like I can really see that shimmer. I don't know whether you can or not, but super pretty. And you don't have to be really like, you know, super careful with it. It's a glitter. It can go anywhere. All right, so let's grab some of our little um, gems here. And we'll just pop a few here and there. Oops. And let's see, we'll pop another one up here. Really cute. So that's card number two. So quick, so easy. So let's see what we have in the way of alternatives this month. All right, so what we can do is um, let's take one of these card bases and we're going to trim the front and the back down to four by five and a quarter. So four. Well, let's do five and a quarter first. We'll do it this way, five and a quarter. We'll do it from the top. So four by five and a quarter. So we'll do four on this side and four on this side. There, so now we have two card fronts. So um, I'm gonna grab a piece of petal pink so first, let's make a card base out of the petal pink. So I'm going to score a piece of cardstock at four and a quarter on the eight and a half inch side. So I'm scoring it in half, basically. And then I'm going to rotate it once and cut it at five and a half. And the dark one is your cutting blade, and the lighter colored one is your scoring blade. Okay, so I'm going to cut that in half. So now I have two card bases. And I think while I'm here, I will also do a pecan pie one. So I'm going to score it four and a quarter. And cut it at five and a half on the long side. Okay. So, let's see. So I have my card base. Let's go ahead and fold that and burnish it. And then they've just glued this right onto here. So let's put this aside. And we need a piece of basic white and I'm gonna cut, um, stamp out a bunny one of the bunnies. I guess it's only one bunny. We're going to stamp the bunny. Okay, so we'll stamp Bun Bun in um, early espresso. Now I didn't clean my stamps. I usually clean my stamps before I use them and that's why I'm doing some test stamps and um, just priming my, my stamp itself. So I'm getting a good stamp. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp a bunny. And I'm going to stamp a little chicken. Making a lot of noise this morning. So there's my chicken. Let's do a test stamp on the chick. 
as well. Very good. So we'll cut out these two guys. So if I was going to be doing a bunch of these cards, I would just stamp a whole pile of them and put them through my scan and cut, but I'm only making one card pretty much. So I'm just looking for my chamois to clean my stamps here so I don't transfer any ink. All right, so I'm going to grab a couple of markers. All right, so let's just take our, I have my light crumb cake, and I'm just going to do a little bit of shading in our bunny. So cute. Our little bun bun. My grandson has a little blue rabbit that he carries around with him. And its name is Bun Bun. And he can't sleep without Bun Bun. All right, I need petal pink for his ears. So I have light petal pink, and we're just gonna do a little bit in his ears here. Super cute. Okay, and then for the chicken, I've got Dark Daffodil Delight. So cute. <laughs> and Pumpkin Pie for his beak and his toes. And I've got light daffodil delight for the rest of the chicken. There. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Okay. So I think I'll just put a little bit more of the crumb cake on our bunny here. Just a little bit. Okay, so let me just cut that out. There. Okay. So there's our bunny and our chick. So I'm going to take my dies that are the add-ons. Okay, so I took my um, ex my extra, so the Love of Spring dies that are the add-on for January, February, and March paper pumpkin. And I've cut out a couple of daffodils. And I cut the daffodils out in... Um, Daffodil Delight as well as um, Granny Apple Green and Garden Green and I'll show you why. So I'm going to cut my little daffodil off of the, the stem and I'm going to glue it onto my green uh, stem like that so that I have a multicolored daffodil. So let me just go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to pop that right on there. There. Okay, and I'm going to do the same with a garden green one. So let me go ahead and give that a little snip off and glue it on to the garden green. Like 
this. There. So there we have two daffodils that we can put on our card. And then I also cut some greenery in the garden green and uh, granny apple green. And I also have a piece of basic white that is, I think it's three and a, yeah, three and a quarter by four. And I'm going to sit that right here. But the first thing I want to do is just take some, um, I'm going to take some pool party and I'm just going to create, uh, did they use pool party? It doesn't say what color they use. So I'm just going to use pool party. My brushes are a little bit damp because I cleaned them all this morning, but we'll just see how that goes. So I'm just going to make like a little shadow of color in the middle of my card. There. So nothing fancy. Now it's a little bit smudgy because my brush is very wet still, even though I've tried to dry it, but it'll be fine because the bunny's going to be sitting over that anyhow. So uh, let's grab some dimensionals. So our bunny is going to sit here, but we're going to lay out some of the greenery. behind the bun, kind of like that. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, and a daffodil. Let me go put the dark one over here. <clears throat> And then pop the daffodil up here and have the chicken here. That's cute. That's really cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, all right. So I'm just going to put a bit of liquid glue on the bottom of this leaf. And one of the reasons I'm using the liquid glue is so that I can move it if I need to. Okay. Just put a little bit there. And the bunny is going to sit here. Maybe I'll turn this a little like that. So Bunny's going to go there. This can go up here. So let's see. Bunny is going to go there. Chicken's going to be here. And our daffodil can go there. There, that looks good. Okay, so let's put some dimensionals on the back of our bunny. <clears throat> and on our daffodil. You can kind of see that. I think I'll use a little dimensional or cut this one in half, maybe. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so that's going to go there, and then we'll have a dimensional on our little bird. And I'm just putting it on his rear so that he's going to snuggle up to Bunny and he'll still be able to pop up. All right, so let's go ahead and do our Bunny. So 
So we'll put bunny here. There, so there's our little bunny. Super cute. And then we need a banner that says Happy Easter. So our Happy Easter stamp is here. And you could do this in two different ways. I'm not a fan of cutting up my um, stamps, but if you wanted to cut your stamp in half, you absolutely could do that. I'm going to use the tape trick because as I said, I don't, I don't particularly like cutting up my stamps. So let me get my ink ready. And um, I'm just gonna cut a piece of tape to cover up the word Easter. <clears throat> and I have a piece of um, crumb cake here and I'm just going to I'm just going to stamp happy. Oops. So the thing to do is remember to take your tape off because see how inky it is? So let me ink that up again. Happy's inked. And then I'm going to stamp happy. I should have cleaned off my stamp first. Because when I go to stamp it, I'm going to have my Easter showing. So let me grab another piece of tape because this one's now all inky. So I'm just going to mask off the word happy. And ink up the word Easter. Take my tape off. And now I'm going to stamp the word Easter under my word happy. There. Happy Easter. Ta-da! So I'm just going to grab my trimmer. And I'm going to make this about, well, we'll see. Probably an inch and a quarter. Looks about right. And I'm going to trim it about at one and three quarters. So this was an inch and a quarter. So at, so I'm just going to do a pencil mark at five eighths. So I'm just going to do like a little pencil mark five eighths. dimensional does not want to go home and I'm just going to put a snip up about maybe half an inch and I'm just going to flag both of my corners to that middle point like this and there we have our little flag and that is going to just sit right here Cute, eh? mm -hmm. So I actually could have cut this a little bit shorter. I might. No, I think I'll just leave it. So let's clean this up a little bit and get this put together. Let's go ahead and glue this down. And I'm going to pop that right on here. And then again, I, I like the freedom that the liquid glue gives you so that if you're not perfectly straight, you can wiggle it around. And then these are, I'm just going to, oh, I forgot to glue this down. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue this one down. And pop that sort of in the corner there. Isn't that adorable? Oh, love it. Okay, and then I'm just going to glue this one down. 
Now, you, if you weren't going to be posting this, uh, you could even pop this panel up on Dimensionals. Canada Post is so expensive um, that if you have too much dimension in your card, they actually ding you for like another dollar fifty. And um, I get kind of annoyed with Canada Post. They say that they're supporting small business, but uh, in my opinion, yeah, not so much. It's very expensive to mail anything in Canada right now. I mailed some a cat one catalog to a potential customer, and it was over $17 to mail one catalog. Like, give me a break. Anyway, how stinking cute is that? So let's put some of these little beads on there. Now, you don't have to use the ones that came in the kit, obviously. You could grab, you know, whatever you wanted, but these are here, so I'm just going to go ahead and use them. Uh, this is so cute. There. Very, very cute. And then I'm going to take my um, pumpkin pie marker and just do like a little bit of pumpkin pie here. There, so that's the outside of that card. So we can go ahead and take our daffodil stamp and just stamp a daffodil on the inside. And for this, I'm gonna take my stamp and write markers. So I'm gonna grab a garden green Daffodil Delight, and Pumpkin Pie. And I'm going to use, these markers come with two tips. They come with like a brush tip and like a ballpoint tip. Okay, so I'm going to use the brush tip and I'm going to do on the side all the leafy things. There, like that. And this doesn't have to be, you know, don't stress over this. I used to stress over this. It's supposed to be fun. Don't stress. Just enjoy it. If it isn't perfect, it doesn't matter. It's handmade. And that's all that matters. I remember when we had our sewing store. Um, one of my educators, somebody said something about it being homemade and she goes, she was like really kind of lost her marbles a little bit and said, it's not homemade, it's handcrafted. <laughs> There's a big difference between homemade and handcrafted. So that was a very good lesson that we learned that day. And she's right. This is all handcrafted with love, so... If it isn't 100% perfect, the way I look at it is you're giving it to probably the majority of the people that you're going to be sending cards to are not card crafters. They're just happy to get mail that isn't um, a text or a bill. So, you know what? Don't overthink it. Do not overthink it. And I, I mean, I'm one to talk. I overthink everything. So um, I'm sure Doreen is over there chuckling because I do overthink everything. <laughs> right? I do. All right. So I'm not going to test stamp this. I'm just going to go for it. So now that I've um, done my uh, coloring, these are water-based markers. So I'm just going to huff on it and rehydrate the ink. And then I'm going to stamp it. So I'm just rehydrating the ink. There. And you know what? It looks a bit like a watercolor. It's so cute. It's very, very cute. And that's just for the inside of the car. It's card. It's very subtle. And um, it goes well. So there. So I'm just going to pop this into the center of my card. And 
And there's um, the cutest little Easter card you ever saw. So for the next one, so let me grab a piece of pecan pie for my base. I'm going to do it a little bit different because I can't figure out what color that is. So we're going to do pecan pie. And then I'm going to put a little card base of uh, crumb cake, but I'm going to cut it down to three and three quarters by five. So three and three quarters by five. And that is so cute. And I'm going to cut up one of my envelopes. So let me grab my trimmer again. I'm going to cut up one of my envelopes and use this green gingham because I think it's really cute. So I'm just going to cut off about an eighth of an inch on each side to open up this card to get um, at the gingham. can just cut this off so there we have a piece of gingham I'll cut off this flap and we'll use that actually maybe I'll just use the flap let me see where the score mark is here I'll flip it over so I can see what I'm doing And actually, I'm not going to use this because there's a lot of glue. The glue comes all the way down to here. And that doesn't really leave me a lot. Let me have a look. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to use it. Okay, I'm going to cut off the gluey part. So that, that'll give me an inch and a quarter of gingham. And I'm just going to square up this side. And I'd like that to be, what did I say? Three and three quarters. So let's measure three and three quarters. Yeah, three and three quarters. Okay. So there's my gingham. And... Here's our card base. Now this one is slightly different. This is the one that I'm sort of copying. And so let's glue this onto here. So this one's going to be slightly different. So pop that onto there. And I'm thinking I should have I should have embossed this. I could still emboss it. Let's let's do that. So I'm just gonna emboss it with this. Looks like a linen kind of. So I'm gonna run the whole thing through and emboss that. There. That oh actually that looks really cute. That looks kind of Easter baskety. It's kind of cute. Now I'm second guessing my background here. Maybe I should put it on very vanilla. Well, let's put the front together and then we'll decide what we're going to do. So let's punch out a bunny. And then I think I'm going to cut out the word love. Now I'm going to put some, oh, where's my, here's my die right here. And I'm going to put some adhesive sheet on the back of my, I think I'm going to do Granny Apple Green. So let me grab some Granny Apple Green. And I'm going to just put some adhesive sheet on it. So the easiest way to do that is I'm just going to, so I'm just going to peel this up and fold it. out of the way and 
and I'm going to lay this right on the edge like this. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same with this piece. There. Okay, and then I'm just going to cut off right next to my cardstock. There. So I have the self adhesive sheet on the back, and then I have my cardstock here on the front. So let's get this out of the way. And I should have closed my, look at my ink all over here. Because I didn't close my ink. That is such a bad habit I have. Holy jeez. Okay. All right, let's put that away. Let's close this before we have a further disaster. And then I'm just going to go over to my uh, cut and emboss machine, and I'm going to cut out a couple of these. I'll be right back. So I've cut out two of them in the Granny Apple Green. And with the self-adhesive paper on the back. So let's pop this out of the die. Now when you're taking them out of the die, you want to be really careful that you're not stretching them too much. Because they're pretty flimsy and they will stretch. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to layer two together um, just to give it a little bit more um, substance. So I'm going to peel the backing off of one. I'm going to put this one on the top because I cut a little bit of the end off that one. So, Okay, let me go ahead and peel. So you can see how it distorts when you take the backing off. So you want to be careful that you're not stretching it when you take it out of the die too, too much. All right, so I'm just going to line them up and stick them together. Like this. And it's not fiddly. It looks fiddly, but it you know what? It really isn't fiddly at all. There. Except this one's a bit crooked. Let me just move that over. There. So there we go. And I think I'm just going to pop this up like this. And like this. And I really could use a little bit more greenery. So maybe I'll cut a little bit of greenery or I can use some of the greenery out of here. I think I'll do that. So I'll pop this out like this and then I'm just going to cut them right out of the frame. Like that. And like that. But I mean, I definitely could use my, um, my dye to cut some more greenery. So let's get this out of here. There, we'll just pop that through like that. Okay.
All right, so let's see. We can just pop this. I should have put this under here, to be honest with you. There. Okay, and pop this here like this and then in their sample they've got some of that twine the linen thread so we can do that too we can make a loop out of the linen thread so I'm just going to put a little bit of tear and tape on the back of this to hold the linen thread So, I'll just peel the backing off of this. And I'm just going to kind of loop it like this. Pop it in this in the glue here. Like that. Thanks. Like that, and then I'm gonna pop some dimensionals on the back of the bunny. There we go. And I still haven't decided if I'm gonna keep it on the pecan pie or if I'm going to pop it onto very vanilla. I think I'm going to pop it on very vanilla. There, so let's put the bunny here. I'm not loving this string here. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on this and stick it behind Mr. Bunny. And then before I glue this down, I'm going to put some Wink of Stella on it. So let me grab my Wink of Stella. And I'm just going to make it a little bit shiny. There, I just have to reload my wink of Stella pen here a little bit. All right, so here we go. You know what I could have used too, and I didn't think of it, is the, our fine tip glue pen um, works great as just a top shine. Never even thought of it, but I had this handy, so here we go. Very cute. Now this is alcohol based so it'll dry really fast. So I'm going to let that dry for half a second. I'm just going to grab a very vanilla card base. Okay, so I have a very vanilla card base here. And just fold it and score it. Okay, yeah, you know what, I like this a lot better. Okay, so let's glue this down. I do like this a lot better than the pecan pie. So we're gonna glue it down. I must have been making a lot more than I realized. I just filled this bottle like last night and it's almost empty again.
there super cute and then I'm going to peel the backing off of my word Oops. and I'm just going to let it relax a bit because I want it actually of course in the right shape and then just press it into place isn't that cute oh love it so I'm also I think I'm going to winkify my bunny a little bit and my duck they're a little bit on the dull side so let's just jazz them up there oh so cute and so what happened here was I got a little splash of wink of Stella so I'm not gonna panic about it I'm actually just going to put some more splatters down and just make it look like I meant to do that so I'm just gonna splatter a bit of the wink of Stella around and so I'll have these little shimmery areas, like little dots of shimmer from here to here. And then, of course, we do need our little dots here. Now, what you can do if you wanted to, I don't think I'm going to, maybe. Hmm. Now that I say it, I think I might. Okay, so I'm going to take my Granny Apple Green Blend, my dark. And I'm going to color, oh, cat hair. I'm going to color a couple of these dots. So you can do this if you don't have a matching um, embellishment for whatever project you're doing. Just take your alcohol blends and just color a couple of dots and you're off to the races. So you have to use the alcohol based ones, the Stampin', Stampin' Blends. The Stampin' Write markers won't do it because they're water-based. So I'll let that dry for half a sec. And I did use the dark only because it's um, it's not a porous material. So there's a chance that you know the lighter one's going to be kind of maybe a mint green or something. So then let's go ahead and pop these onto our card. and there there's our card isn't that adorable I love it very very cute so there's a couple of alternatives let me just quickly clean the workstation here okay so here are our four cards that we made so these two were from the actual kit plus our little treat box here that you can fill with chocolates and candy and such and then here are the two alternatives that we made um, using parts of the kit to um, to create our own ideas so I hope you've enjoyed these anyway thank you so much for joining me this afternoon I really appreciate it have an awesome afternoon and stay warm bye for now